All right, class, so in this video, I'm going to show you another way to do a basketball drills level three. So if you head back over to this other page of mine, I've already got one made for you. Okay, it's called VexCode VR Basketball Drills Level 3. I did this about a year ago. I'm just showing you another way to actually do this. All right, so let's head back to the directions. The directions say build an algorithm to move through all one to eight grid squares in sequential order. The VR robot should move to one, go back to start, move to two, go back to start. Continue this pattern for all eight grid squares. So the difference between this one and level one and two is, is that level one and level two, you would just go up one, back, up two, back, and then you'd skip three and go straight to four grid squares and then back. This one, you're hitting every single one of them, okay? So it says that you use the playground grid map which I've already got set up. If you don't know how to get there, let me X out, you go to Playground, make sure you choose Grid Map. There's several of them right here for you. Also, make sure you have VR Robot checked as well, okay? So the first thing I would do is, is I always like to start mine, and I like to put Set Drive Velocity to 100%, okay? What that does is it actually increases your robot speed. Then the next thing I like to do is, I want to go, well, we know we're going to have to use repeat, so let's just come down here. We're going to say eight times, okay? I know that my drivetrain, I'm going to have to go forward eight times, and I'm going to have to go reverse eight times. Let me click this, change that up. The next thing we need to do is, is we need to create a variable. So let's come down to variables. I'm going to make a variable, and I'm going to call this thing, um, or I call it block. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set my block to 1, okay? Now I'll explain that in just a second. So I'm going to put this right up here, and then I know that I'm going to have to change my block by 1 as well. So we're going to go to Operator, and I'm going to um, grab an Operator. I'm going to use the Multiplication. I'm going to go back to the variable, and I'm going to say block times 2. And I'm going to go back to the operator as well, and I'm going to say block times oh. I'll go block times Actually, not times two. It's times 200. Because each one of these little blocks right here is worth 200 millimeters. That's my bad. So 200 right here. Okay? So what this is saying is, is that we're going to start off with block one. Okay? So when it comes down here, it says, hey, block one, I'm going to multiply that by 200 millimeters. Why? Because each one of these grid squares is worth 200 millimeters. So it's going to go up, and it's going to go down to the reverse and say one times 200 is 200, and then reverse back to the beginning. And then it says change block by one. So then we're going to add one to the block. So now it's two. Two times 200 is 400, and so forth. And when you get down here, it's going to change it to three. Okay, so then it's going to go 600 and 600 and so forth. So when I hit play, let's see what happens. 200, this 400, all the way up. So it should go up to 1,600 millimeters. And let's just see what happens. Alright, we're getting close. And then one more, here we go. And that should be it right there. So that is just another way to do basketball drills level three. Um, you can also see my other one, how to do basketball drills level three as well. Uh, so there's, you've got two different ways you can do it. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.